It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's pack day. Let's get into it. Just like everyone else in the world, we are opening worse packs than I expected. I'm not too surprised by it, but I'm still very annoyed by it. Still not bad packs, though. Two elite player packs, two mega packs. I believe this was gold in Division 2. It's hard for me to remember because the leaderboards didn't work at all. But I have no idea where I finished. I do know in an alternate universe where we got the rewards that say we were getting, I'd be opening ultimate packs right now, and that would be pretty fun. I guess I'll settle for this. We also have a three gold players pack, two premium, two gold players packs, another two gold player pack, and then a mega pack and an NHL players pack from Squaw Battles. Just finished Pro 1, didn't try it too hard in it. Wasn't exactly motivated to play the game this week, considering it's been an absolutely broken disaster piece, but we're going to start with the three gold players pack. I don't know why I'm not starting with the two gold player pack. Don't ask questions. We got Denisa Krisova. Raphael Harvey Pinard and then Justin Danford. So uh, starting 0 for 1 on packs, but not very surprising. These four packs here where I want to get something good because I actually played a lot of rivals this week. At least more than I felt like playing. So I'm hoping we get something good. Opening the two goal player pack and now. Not expecting anything from this. We got an NHL player at least. Didn't even look at what we could pull from these. I think there's an 87 Ovechkin. I think I saw that. Tim Heed. We're guaranteed an 80 as the next card. It is. Anthony Beauvillier. We've gotten the bare minimum of what we've been expecting. Once again, guaranteed 180 in this pack. Can it be something good? Sam Carrick and Carter Verhage. That can be good. It depends how he plays tonight or whenever he plays. If Connor Verhage scores six goals the next game he plays, just know I'll be a very happy man. I think I'm going to jump into the NHL players pack next. This one is tradable. So, like, if we want to pull an X Factor here. That would be hype! Connor McDavid would also be hype! Let's friggin' go, boys! No way! First card of the pack, first Connor McDavid pull of the year, and it's tradable, but I have to keep him, right? I have to use him. There's no way I don't. Anything else in here? Well, what the hell you? The face cam's unlucky. We did pull Crosby when I had it on. Uh, the reason I'm not using it this week is I don't have an excuse. I just forgot to set it up, and I just remembered now. But we got Connor McDavid tradable now i don't know what to do i think i'm gonna use him i'm going to move on i think we peaked for the day i could be wrong but let's just i'll save the tradable mega pack for last i feel like we used a bit of our pack like they were gonna build it back up open the two untradable ones and then open the tradable mega pack we are guaranteed 580 pluses in here hopefully another per if we get one more purple i mean we don't need another purple we pulled connor mcdavid the pack opening is a success especially when it's the first week of the game the thing about Mega Packs is they're very mega, and uh, we're getting not much from it. Clara Pislarova, if I can say it right. I'm just, I'm just hyped. Michael Bunting, uh, number 17. Ryan Suter, I miss when he was elite. Those were great times. I used to use him every year at the start of the year, but I didn't even consider using him this year. That Mega Pack sucked. I'm not mad about it. Funny that our best pull is probably going to be from Squad Battles. The one mode that I barely focused on this week, and it still gave us freaking Connor McDavid. Dadanov, Tanev. I, I finished Pro 1, so I played. I think I only played like seven squad battle games. The Chiefs jersey, Maverick Bork. 82 Ekblad, it's not much. It'll help with collectibles eventually. Clefboom, another Oiler. Like I said, not expecting anything else for the rest of the day, because that's usually how it works. But if we get more, then I'd say... That it's a pretty big success, you know, even any other purple, anyone at all. Instead, we got Johnny Bauer. That's not a bad card. I feel like he's not usable, but in terms of a uh, trade, yeah, he's only 5'11". I'm definitely not going to be using him. In terms of collectibles for events and stuff, not bad. I'm also a Leafs boy, so I like seeing some Leafs, you know. They're not doing too hot right now in real life and when it comes to playing, but don't have to talk about that. I'm going to open this one now. It's our last tradable pack. Let's see what we can get. Our first guaranteed 80 is Corey Perry. Our second guaranteed 80 is Riley Smith. Emil Pedersen. Our third guaranteed 80 is Vlader. I'm pretty sure he just signed an extension, if I read that correctly. We're only guaranteed one more 80. Or no, there's two more. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Ah, uh, there's one of them. Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield, whatever you want to call him. He's lighting up the league right now. I'm not even going to pretend like he isn't. Playing way better than I was expecting. And our last guaranteed one is 85 Steven Stamkos. Today is a fat W from Squad Battles. Pro 1 Squad Battles gives McDavid an 85 Stamkos. What? Both tradable. I'm going to be trying both of them first. That's insanity. But before I open my last two uh, Rivals packs, which has gotten us nothing from the, our first two, 
I played like 60 Rivals games this week. I know there were two minute periods, but still, I played seven squad battle games. I got 85 Stamkos, and I got 87 McDavid, both tradable. And from playing Rivals so far, I got Johnny Bauer and an 82 Ekblad, I believe is the other best. These packs need to redeem themselves to make me see why it's worth playing Rivals. It's been quite the week of the game. I'm glad to get a McDavid to literally kind of like reboost my will to play because it was pretty low, I'm not going to lie. Starting with Rudy and Stevenson, 281s. We're guaranteed 880s in this pack. Our first four of them have not been too good. Matt Duchesne, very good base card, not what we want. Tivo Teravainen, pack Zanel. Rivals packs aren't looking too hot. The first one, literally nothing. We did get 780s when we were only guaranteed... Or we got nine, sorry, when we were only guaranteed eight, but still a very big L of a pack. Final pack in terms of rivals, and well, in general, unless I can do rerolls, I might be able to do a silver one. I probably won't do a gold one. It's not really worth it. I still have an X Factor. Maybe I can make an X Factor choice, but I'll have to look. Okay, we got both are not. So the rest of these cards are 80 plus. Arie, Nick Paul, Bowen Byram, 81, Samuel Gerard, 82. John Couture, 83. We're slowly working up. Where's the purple or an 84? No? Well, Rivals was not worth it. Squad Battle swoops in, saves the day. Screw Rivals. <laughs> Screw Hot Rivals in NHL 23, man. Why not end it with an X-Factor choice pack? We got to get an X-Factor McDavid to go with our McDavid, right? Our first X-Factor choice pack gave us Dylan Larkin. I want Hedman. I want McKinnon. I want Makar. I want McDavid. One of those, Ovechkin. There's a plenty of them. There's also plenty that I don't want. I wouldn't mind Marie Philippe Poulain. I regret not taking her from my main for my pre-order bonus. We're gonna go with Malcolm in the middle to start. If we get McDavid, I don't even know what to say. Who's it gonna be? Patrick Kane would be hype, but I already have him, so it's not. It's just very lame now, because I could have picked someone else from my uh, pre-order bonus, because that's where I got him. Left is always right. Come on, hit us big. Hit us big in the X Factor. Trevor Zegris, you know what? That is good. I've seen people pay ridiculous amounts of coins for him. He can go up to an 88, 90 speed. 80 faceoffs kind of low. That was higher, he'd be electric elite. Not complaining about trading a 50 gold players for X Factor Zegris, so I'm already happy. But the final decision that we can make is Steven Stankos, who was in our first one. I think Trevor Zegris is the right choice here, right? After thinking about it, I really want Stankos. I'm just gonna use his 85, and if I don't like it, then I can sell that, and then I won't regret not taking his X Factor. I think Zegris is the play, he's the cover athlete. I feel he's gonna be getting pumped out upgrades throughout the year he's already at an 88 it just makes the most sense to go with trevor's egress so i'm gonna do that i kind of wish i took sam coast low key i think i have to make the smart decision definitely a successful pack day We're averaging one purple per pack day so far y'all love to see it thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one peace out